what were your overall impressions of tonight? We'll just begin there. I'm sorry, Josh, can you say that again? Yeah, I heard the last part of that. Yeah, no problem. What were your overall impressions tonight? I thought it was a great team win. Um, you know, I thought the offense, um, offensively, we had a good flow, good rhythm. You know, we had 30 assists, so the ball was moving. Uh, I think shot 50 plus from the three, or uh, excuse me, from the field, 43 from three. We were able to put together three 30 plus point quarters, which is, it's, it's, it's a great sign. Um, you know, that, that our cutting, our movement, uh, our spacing uh, was correct. And we had the willingness to try to make the right play time and time again. You know, defensively, um, you know, Kim got it going early in the, in the probably middle of the second quarter uh, through the half, um, finished the half with 28. You know, he, he knows once a guy like that gets going, it's really tough to, uh, you know, kind of extinguish his energy. Um, but did a better job second half. Uh, but still, he had a heck of a night. What do you attribute the ball movement, the smoothness, the flow on offense? I think it's just continuation um, as far as what we saw the other night, a few nights ago, rather, in, in Utah. Um, you know, just that consistency that, you know, regardless of what's going on, we can find a way to play, you know, that brand of basketball, that style. Um, you know, we stepped up and made shots. Corey was great. You know, our bench was terrific. Denny and Trez. Uh, I thought Aaron had a nice little stretch. So, you know, everyone out there, Spencer, was kind of that, that quarterback had 12 assists. I know he struggled early from the field, but got it going late. Um, so I thought it was a you know great, great overall team win. Is a performance like tonight prompt you to consider putting the ball in, in Spencer's hands more late in games once Brad comes back? Well, I think it's equal opportunity when that you know we'll, we'll read the situation because both guys have proven whether to score, facilitate. You know I think both can do that. Um, I think it's a good problem to have, but we've seen both of them step up, make big, uh, big plays, you know, whether it's to score or to, uh, to their teammates. So I don't think it's one you have to pick one or the other. Uh, you read the flow of the game and obviously the matchups, I think it kind of dictates itself. Thank you. Ava. Wes, what were the adjustments you guys made on Kemba? Obviously, Denny played a, a big part in that, but was it just getting to him earlier? We're trying to put more size on him. Um, you know, they, they do a great job of screening. And he's a tough out once he gets going. Uh, you know, stopping behind screens, um, shooting the pull-up three is, is one, one area that's, uh, that hurt us. So maybe putting a little more size, and we tried to adjust our levels a little bit. Got to some switches, um, which I thought helped. Um, obviously, the rebounding piece uh, was lacking. But, you know, I think 19 points, second chance points for them. Um, that, that's an area we have to take a look at. But, you know, that's an area that, Robinson and, the, and their bigs say they impact the game that way. But at least maybe it takes the initial thrust of the pick and roll, the initial advantage, you know, out of the picture. And Spencer is so clearly can be that aggressive guy that you kind of talk about when Brad isn't playing. How do you find the happy medium when, when Brad is back on court? Do you show him film tonight and say if you can just kind of pick out certain moments where you can and find your shot? Or, or how do you go about doing that? Well, I think it's just a constant conversation, uh, myself and him. Um, Brad and him, it's just, you know, it's going to be all three of us trying to, you know, figure the best way to do it. But, you know, it's there. And we, we know we have it. They, they've shown at times to be able to do it, you know, on the floor. You can look at the, you know, the numbers and say, well, you know, one produces a lot more when the other one's not there. But that doesn't have, that really, to me, has nothing to do with the level of aggression. Um, whether the guy makes shots, okay. But I think there's a way that, you know, we can kind of get both uh, and find that middle ground where both guys are aggressive. And, um, you know, whether it's to play, make, or score, I think that's what we need. Thanks, Wes. Chase. Hey, Wes, uh, what went into the decision to start Corey, and what would you like about how he played? Uh, well, I answer the second part. I thought he played terrific. Uh, you know, he was aggressive. He didn't turn shots down. He, you know, he does what he does. Um, he doesn't over-dribble it. He kind of, you know, cuts hard, moves, respaces, keeps himself shot ready. Um, and he let it go. And I thought, you know, he made those ones early, really kind of helped, you know, get him in a comfort zone. Uh, it's, a, it's a good thing to see him kind of grow from, you know, month to month. Um, you know, I think it really uh, bodes well for his maturity, his development. And what stood out to you about kind of the, the way you guys closed the game? It seems like um, there were a lot of kind of timely plays that, that you guys came up with. Well, I may mention that, you know, I thought we made plays on both sides, you know, where collectively, individually, um, each guy had a moment, 
and we were able to kind of obviously come away with it. But, you know, just the poise that we showed down the stretch. Now, you know, they're going to keep coming. They're going to be, pick it up and be more aggressive. We handled that on the offensive end, and we got timely stops. Neil. Hey, Coach. Um, was there anything specific about Corey that you thought that, oh, he might be able to take advantage of something against the Knicks that panned out that way, or did he just, you know, maybe make you look good? I didn't look at it that way. It just, I thought it, you know, once again, gave her, gave us better balance, you know, between the, the first group and the second group. And, you know, Corey's a guy, you, you can plug him in anywhere and, you know, you, you can trust the result, you know, whether he makes a shot or not, they're going to guard him as a shooter. Um, he's done a better job defensively, trying to contain the ball, move his feet. Um, he's disciplined with his uh, game plan. So, uh, just another opportunity for a young player. Uh, um, he gets in the starting uh, lineup, has a big night. Thanks, Coach. Safe travels back. Thank you. Wayne. Hey, Coach. To have seven guys and double figures on the road, how impressed were you with, uh, with tonight's win? I'm sorry. Can you say that last part? I said, how impressed were you with tonight's win, considering you had seven guys and double figures on the road? Oh, very impressed. I mean, in light of, you know, the recent developments, you know, we kind of were throwing a bit of a curveball this afternoon. Um, and, but that's life. You know, we, we've kind of had to deal with that throughout the, you know, early part of this season. And, um, you know, the fact that we were able to regroup and come out and get a big win on the road. You know, this has been a, a tough stress for us. For, so to put two quality wins back to back, uh, I'm hoping this is, a, you know, we're trending in the right direction. And lastly, Coach, how beneficial was having that time off between Utah to, uh, and then to, uh, tonight against the Knicks? I think it proved uh, very beneficial. At, at first, I was a little leery. You know, at times you get a little stale. Um, you know, the practice kind of gets um, dragged down a bit because, you know, they're itching to play somebody. And uh, we were able to get back and, you know, clean up some slippage, um, teach, actually uh, do some contact stuff and without wearing our guys out. And, you know, in hindsight, it was good for us. You know, the fact that we were not only able to rest and regroup, but uh, also get some practice time. Thank you, Coach. And Merry Christmas. Thank you. You too. Last question is shy. Coach, Avdia had a great road trip in his last four games. Uh, he put up double figure numbers. How would you summarize his progress on this particular road trip? But, you know, he, he's progressed well. Um, you know, the fact that he still doesn't try to do too much, um, I think is great. You know, we put in putting him in different situations. Um, you know, I'm learning to trust him more. His teammates are learning to trust him more. He's stepping up and make, making big plays, uh, you know, facilitating, scoring. Um, and we've seen the defensive side of it. So I think he's starting to put together a nice, you know, um, yeah, a run here where, you know, he's thinking, okay, this is who he can be. And I think this is just an, an area of growth uh, for him. And I think, you know, if he can play this way night in and night out, do so consistently, it's going to be great for us. Uh, what do you think was working so well for the offense tonight? Uh, all the assists, all the threes you guys were able to make? Uh, I think um, I think the ball didn't stick. Um, I think that's the, the biggest thing when you look at the past two games. Uh, which are both wins for us. Uh, we just did a good job of just playing basketball, moving the ball the right way, playing the, playing the game of basketball the right way. If someone's open, you pass it. If you're open, you know, you shoot the ball. And um, uh, honestly, also, um, with us getting stops defensively, getting out in transition, we had a number of transition points and um, easy, just easy baskets in a hole, so. What do you think about uh, Corey Kispert's night in his uh, first NBA start? Uh, I mean, he had a hell of a night. Um, you know, I, I feel like, you know, there's no better way, you know, in, in your rookie season to have a big game and, and have that in the, in the Mecca, in the garden. Uh, you know, I, I know that's an unbelievable feeling. And, um, you know, he'll probably remember that for the rest of his life. So uh, we needed everything from him. <clears throat> Ava. Kuz, you were one of a couple guys that had uh, big threes late. What was the key in holding things down in the fourth quarter? Uh, at one point, I think it was uh, Fournier who had a big three that cut it to two, and you guys kind of bounced right back. I mean, we just made big shots. Um, you know, they did a good job of just keep fighting. Um, you know, uh, whether it was Kimba, um, obviously carrying them throughout the, throughout the game. And then, like you said, Fournier had a big 
uh, right corner three. And uh, Julius had a couple couple times going to the line and, you know, just made some tough circus shots around the rim. So, you know, we just did a great job of, um, you know, withstanding their punches and um, punching them back as well, you know, making timely big, uh, big shots. So. And I know you guys are used to it by now, but what was kind of the day like just finding out that uh, Brad entered protocols and, and keeping up with all the kind of shifting parts today? Uh, I mean, it's a tough situation, you know, um, you know, the NBA and all of us are, as players we're in a trick bag right now, you know, it's kind of tough because sometimes you just never know if you're going to play or not. You know, you never know if, if you have it or if it's a false positive or you might have contract tracing and, you know, you're kind of just shit out of luck. So, um, you know, obviously it's just a tough situation that, you know, we're all in and we have to do our best to uh, manage that and also, uh, you know, play within, you know, what we have going on. So obviously Brad being out, uh, KCP being out, um, two starters, big time players for us. And for us just to have a next man up mentality, Corey coming in, um, you know, having five, six guys, uh, in double figures, you know, as big time. Thanks, Coos. Josh. Kyle, what did you see tonight from, from Spencer? Yeah, turn it up. What I see from Spencer? Oh, what I see from Spence? Um, yes. I think he was more of himself. You know, haven't really seen that type of Spence in, um, you know, at least a month or so. And, you know, for him, uh, I think it was just a great game just to build off of and have that confidence, you know. Uh, he's so good when he's, he's getting downhill and um, just attacking the rim and just being aggressive and being himself, um, you know, did a great job of, I don't know if he was 10, 10 rebounds or 10 assists, one or two, but no, I, I think he had a fine game tonight, you know, really, really uh, connected all around game, so. How, do, how does this team keep up the ball movement, the, the passing uh, over the next, over the rest of the season? I mean, it's simple. You know, when we move the ball and uh, play the right way, you know, we're a tough, tough team to beat. And, you know, especially in the NBA, any team that moves the ball well and plays with each other, it's always going to, you're always going to be a tough foul. So, um, you know, I think we can build off these past two games and, and we've seen it, you know, when we started the season off, that's how we played, you know, got away from it a little bit, got away from the defensive uh, intensity that, um, you know, we were starting to build at the beginning of the year. And, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, proof is in the pudding, you know, when we play the right way, share the ball, play defense, we, we win games. Thank you. Neil. Hey, Kuz. Uh, Coach was telling us that you guys got the word that Brad wouldn't be available pretty late, you know, right before the game. What was kind of the message pregame for you guys to try and come out and still get this win? Uh, I mean, we didn't really have a message, to be honest. Possession by possession. You know, that's, you know, that's the way we have to focus and approach the game of basketball right now because, you know, you can't look too far ahead and, like I said, you just never know when you're going to have um, who on your roster. And, um, you know, tonight was that case, and, you know, we prevailed. Thanks, Coos. Safe travels. Yeah. Matt. Uh, hey, Kyle. Congrats on the win. Um, you've already got a reputation for hitting, like, clutch threes late in games. I think fans have come that expect that from you. Is that something you – can practice or work on, or, or is there a way to simulate that? Uh, I mean, I've been practicing that my whole life. You know, I was that kid in the um, in the driveway, um, you know, just in my head or having my little brother or somebody, you know, yelling out three, two, one. Um, you know, I was that kid. And, you know, I've just held that my entire life. And I want those moments and I'm ready for those moments. And, um, you know, I, I have utmost belief in myself at all times. And um, that's important in this life. You know, not only this game, but this life. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right, last question. Quick to Christos. Hey, Bruce, congratulations on the win, first of all. Hey. What did you see on the team's resilience in tonight's game? Say it, say it again. Yes. What did you see on the resilience in tonight's game? What, what was it? 
Oh, I mean, we've, we've kind of showed that all year. Um, you know, we've, we've had so many games in the clutch or in the fourth quarter where, you know, we may be down or we might be up and, you know, we take a team's punch and, um, you know, we just have a group that, you know, loves those moments. And we've done a great job, you know, all year when we're in those situations of being resilient and be, having composure and trying our best just to win ball games. And, um, you know, I can't say enough about it. So, you know, I think, um, you know, we have we have a, a high character team, team that really cares about winning. And, um, you know, we're still improving and still, you know, figuring out ourselves as we speak. So. Hey, Spence, what was working for you guys tonight? Um, I, I think, uh, you know, getting the paint, um, kicking out, um, obviously, you know, coach calls them paint threes. And fortunately enough, I, I believe we hit uh, a pretty solid volume of it. Thanks in large part to Corey, obviously, uh, Gerha stepping in, doing his thing. And for you, just obviously, you know, 30 plus games in the season, where do you feel like you are health wise with your knee injury? Um, I mean, you know, they, they talk about ACL as like a two year process. I mean, for me personally, like, you know, I, I've been back now for a while. I feel good. Um, I'm assuming the back to back restriction um, will be coming off soon. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I get better every day um, and look to keep climbing. Thanks, Spencer. Safe travels back. Thank you. Chase. Hey, Spencer. Uh, what changed for you a after your start? I think you, you shot one for six to begin the game, and then obviously you ended up with, uh, with a great night. Um, sheesh, one for six isn't great, but no, nah, I mean, I, I made shots, not to be too simplistic, but you know, I don't think any of the uh, first six looks were terrible, um, you know, and, and shoot, I obviously left a lot on the table. I mean, I feel like I missed like two layups. Uh, obviously, the six free throws, like, probably should have walked out there with 30. And you mentioned uh, Corey Kisper, you know, his first NBA start coming to MSG. Uh, what impressed you about him tonight? Well, everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, obviously the shooting um, was huge for us, providing space and um, and then also secondarily, uh, I think, you know, people think he's kind of a target guy, but held his own defensively. So, you know, I mean, that's probably even a brighter spot, right? Like, you know, you see a rookie come in, you might want to target him with ISOs and whatnot, but, you know, he's doing his thing defensively and obviously a, a big boost offensively as well. Ava. Spencer, to what do you accredit the good ball movement tonight? Um. You know, I think in part it was, it was their defense. You know, they played a lot of bigs. Um, so, you know, when we get in the paint, I think it created longer closeouts for them. Um, and guys just, you know, moving and trying to get to the spray out threes. And, and Coach West recently putting an emphasis on, you know, uh, threes and layups um, in terms of our shot profile. Just guys understanding a good shot versus a bad shot. Um, I think, like, all those things kind of uh, combined for, for the type of night that we had. And I know you guys obviously had a big win at Utah without hardly any rest, but how much did the day days off and, and getting actually full practices kind of under your belts make a difference? Um, yeah, I mean, it's always good. I think, um, you know, now we got a couple more days with the holiday. Um, guys get to see their families, um, you know, and, and, and just regroup and, and, and uh, refocus. Josh. Spence, how can you, how do you go about duplicating or this type of performance? I know that's, given how well you played tonight, that's tough for, that'd be tough for anybody, but how do you keep this momentum going individually? That's always like a trick question, man. Like, you gotta understand, bro, like, we all have a job to do. Um, and I, and I try to do what's asked to me on a consistent basis. Um, so, you know, like, it, it's, that's just hard. I mean, obviously, I, I, I want to play the best I can possibly play every night. Like, I want to hit every shot. I want to make every defensive play. Like, I want to average 50 points and 20 assists and 30 rebounds. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's just not the way it is. Like, you know, you, you got to work within the group and within the system and try to, like, make sure that everything – works well. So, you know, we're, we're trying to figure that out. Thank you, Spencer. No problem. All right, I think we got one in-person question.
Yeah. I mean, obviously everybody's dealing with it, you know, so um, I don't think it's anything that's unique to us, but um, you just got to try to try to be a professional, you know, stay within your routine as best as possible. If they cancel the game, they cancel the game. Um, if they pull guys out of the lineup, next man up. Obviously, Corey was huge for us tonight. Um, and that, that's just kind of how we have to approach it. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's kind of that simple. Um, it, it's extremely hard to do, but you just got to have that next man up philosophy and continue to just try to, like, you know, chip away and, and be a professional and, and stick to your routine. <laughs> no way. <laughs> what? Hey, they, they ain't canceling them Christmas Day games. Y'all tripping. We about to shorten COVID protocols and make sure we playing in Christmas games, bro. You know, but money's on the line. We're stopping. We ain't doing that again. The people ain't giving back that bread again. Just keeping it, keeping it all the way real with y'all. You laughing. This ain't no game. This, this a game. This ain't no game. Ain't no game. This is, Billions of dollars on the line, baby. We ain't, they ain't, they ain't had that money back. Your first NBA start, you have uh, the best game of your career so far. Just what was it like doing that in Madison Square Garden? Oh, it felt good, man. Like, obviously, you know, all the best players that you hear about play their best games in this building. So I wanted to get out there and put my best foot forward. Um, had some shots drop early and felt like I was in a rhythm early. And I just went with the flow from there. Um, Thank you. Uh, yeah, it was just it was a good feeling to get out there and get in that rhythm, and I'm really really happy to end up with a win. Uh, really resilient at the end and and pulled it out. So, um, you know, all good on my end right now. Did you ever play at the Garden? It looked like maybe Gonzaga went there your freshman year, but you didn't go. Yeah, yeah, we did. I was hurt though. I traveled and sat on the bench, but I was hurt. I had an ankle injury, so I didn't didn't get any minutes that game. Just what were your impressions of uh, being there at the Mecca? At that time in college? Well, uh, tonight, actually playing in a oh, game. Oh, I mean, yeah, it was great. Like, I mean, every time you play in this building, you feel that energy and you um, think about all the greats before you and the, the crowd's always awesome. They rock, we're, we're rocking tonight. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's one of the, you know, top five arenas that you have on your checklist as a basketball player. And um, glad we got to, you know, check it off the box tonight. Neil. Hey, Corey, I think after your second three, you had 10 points. New York took a timeout. It looked like Rui kind of leaned over to you and maybe said something as you guys were going into the huddle. If you're willing to share what, you know, Rui said to you, maybe. Uh, no, it's, that's, I mean, that's something between me and him. Uh, he and I go way back. And, uh, um, you know, we spent a lot of time in Gonzaga, developed a good friendship. And um, hope you guys can respect that uh, between me and him. I guess generally then what was it like having him, you know, on the bench uh, for the, on the road for the first time? Yeah. I mean, like I said earlier, like that's my guy, that's my friend and, and to see him um, on the bench with us and traveling with us and, you know, being with the team is, is a great thing, you know, not only for me, but you know, for him and for everybody. So um, we're looking forward to what's uh, what's to come with him. And um, I'm really happy uh, that he, you know, came along. Thanks Corey. Safe travels back. Mm -hmm. Chase, you have another? Yeah, Corey, just what'd you like about the ball movement and the way you guys were able to generate open threes tonight? Yeah, I mean, we just, we kind of let their defense dictate what we wanted to do. And I um, mean, Kuzma and Spencer mentioned it beforehand. And they played a big lineup and they were, you know, packed in the paint. So uh, moving the ball and shooting threes is the recipe to beat it. And uh, we did that tonight. So, you know, the shots fell, we were in rhythm. And, you know, that kind of energy in the ball is contagious. You know, guys... Uh, you feel that on the floor um, when that ball is popping around and guys making the right play for each other, you know, shots just start to fall. And uh, we shot better tonight, you know, than we have pretty much all season. And I think that's a direct uh, result of the way we played. Christos. Hey, Corey, great game, first of all. Uh, speaking about your performance tonight, what type of booster do you get from that, uh, that game tonight? Did you say what type of boost? Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's a confidence builder, man. Like every, every time you get a little bit of, you know, get a little bit of minutes here, you make a shot here, it kind of just boosts your confidence a little bit. And um, being a rookie in the league, 
Um, you know, I could take everything that I can get. And tonight was a huge, you know, step up for me, kind of freeing myself mentally and um, being ready to take on every opportunity that I can get as the season wears on. And for the team, it was a second straight win on the road after the, the win in Utah. How many steps in the right direction for you guys were those two wins? And what did you see about the resilience of that group? I mean, yeah, we're just anytime you can stack wins together and win multiple games in a row in the league, it's great. Uh, we expect to win every time we step out on the floor. Um, obviously, we can't, you know, we can't do that, but um, you know, we hold ourselves to a high standard and to um, pull off those wins, especially close, uh, close games in the fourth quarter, um, you know, really help us in the long run as the season kind of uh, comes to a close.